But um, Dr. Lillian B. Yeomans in her book uh, talks about a, a person who was a missionary in China during the smallpox epidemic. And um, so she relates this testimony. So I'll read it to you when I put my glasses back on. <laughs> Tiny print here. My Bible's a little different than that. In those days, no cure existed for this disease. So doctors could do little for her. If a person contracted smallpox back then, there was no hope the person just died. It was a deadly disease. This missionary was quarantined in her room and ugly smallpox marks covered her body from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. There she was, stricken with a deadly disease with little medical assistance, destitute and in a faraway country, virtually given up to die. She didn't know what to do since there was no cure, so she began to fervently seek the Lord. The Lord always rewards the diligent seeker, and he always answers sincere, faith-filled prayer. So he spoke to her and told her to praise him for his faithfulness to keep his own word. Listen to that very, very carefully. What to praise him for? His faithfulness to keep his own word. Many times in our praising God and our standing, in, you know, in faith for some things, many times we're like, I praise you, Lord, for my healing. I praise you, Lord, for my... Just be, praise, praise him for his faithfulness to keep his own word. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your Simplify. Thank you, Lord. Simplify. Thank you, Lord. This is that getting into that quiet, secluded place and focusing and shifting our attention. He said to, to praise him for his faithfulness to keep his own word. Then he showed her a vision of two baskets. One basket contained the test and the trial, the smallpox. That basket was full. The other basket contained her praise, and that basket was only half full. The Lord told her the praise basket needed to be filled with praises so that it would outweigh the basket of the test and trial. And when the praise basket was full, her healing would be manifested. As the missionary lay quarantined in her room, she began to fervently praise and worship the Lord day and night. Everyone feared for her life and thought the loud praises coming from her room was little more than the act of a delirious woman. <laughs> yeah. But in spite of all opposition, she continued to praise God. She sang praises to God from her heart. She did nothing but praise the Lord. She praised him for his greatness. She praised him for all that he had ever done for her. She praised him for his faithfulness to his word. Amen. She praised him for her healing. She praised God and praised God and praised God. What was the result of such sincere and devoted praise to God? Finally, after several days of heartfelt praise, the Lord showed her that the praise basket was full. Hallelujah. She walked out of that quarantined room completely healed. Her skin was as smooth and clear as a child's. No smallpox marks were to be found anywhere on her body. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How full is your praise basket? How full is your praise basket? <laughs> Amen. Sometimes people get a little, you know, they get a little uh, self-conscious praising God out loud because you can't see him. And we're used to talking to people we can see. And so it's like, how, how loud do I need to be? <laughs> Remember, it's not about the, the volume. It's about the depth of your praise. It's about the sincerity of your praise and that it hooks up your heart and your mouth. Praise the Lord so that you're magnifying him for the, his faithfulness to keep his own word. Hallelujah. He said, my word will not return void. You might say, well, yeah, but I know somebody, but no, 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 no. We're not talking about that. Have you ever been in conversation with someone where you're in conversation and, and, uh, and you're, you're, you're talking about yourself all the time? Or they're talking about themselves all the time? I'll never forget one movie I saw one time where they were talking, this person was talking about themselves. Talk, talk, talk. Well, enough about me. Let's talk about you. What do you think of me? <laughs> Sometimes we get that way with the Lord. 
you know, talking about all our stuff, talking about all our stuff. And then even when we start to praise him, we praise him for, you know, I'm so glad I feel this or I'm so, no, just praise him for his faithfulness. Just praise him for his goodness. Lord, not how he makes you feel, but just because he's worthy. Amen. Just because he did overcome, glory to God, he has overcome the world. Oh, I give you glory, Lord Jesus, for your accomplishment, for what you did. Oh, thank you, Lord. We honor you and worship you and glorify you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. How full is your praise basket? 